The works of five highly regarded African-American artists are on display at a Philadelphia retirement community in honor of Black History Month. Victoria Whittle comes to us live from Cathedral Village, where a group of senior citizens is proving it's never too old to learn something new. Tori? Yeah, they say here at Cathedral Village, they do things a little bit out of the box. That's why one man had this idea a few years ago to display the works of black artists in a way where all of his community could take in these works of art and maybe take with them a little message of how to continue on. Take a look. We're trying to do this diversity thing every place all around us. And it's beginning to catch on. For a few years, the Cathedral Village Retirement Center in Philadelphia has been commemorating Black History Month with its Black Art Festival. All of us artists like to show our wares and show what we do, so we appreciate just being here. And if you thought this festival, thrown by the seniors, would be a few easels, think again. It has a spotlit gallery, sensational works of art by local black artists, and a room filled with artifacts from all over the world, curated by this community of residents. They go all around the world, the residents, in their, in their younger years, and they bring their gifts in. The festival was founded by Reverend Robert Polk. And for years, there was no black art here at all until three years ago because they didn't know any black people. An almost 90-year-old resident who has an incredible resistance against the same old, same old. We ignore what people of color have done through the years. And this is a way of bringing those gifts together and we're all sharing them. And a relentless passion to help his community understand that inclusiveness happens with the head and the heart. Seniors here will say to me, I don't know where I was during the civil rights crisis. I was having babies. I didn't get involved, and so they don't know anything about it. This is one tiny, tiny step of helping people where we live to understand. When we were growing up as kids, as blacks, the only way we felt we could get over, as our parents and our teachers would tell us, would be exposure and education. Know what the white people are doing. We know more about you than you know about us. You know, that was the first time that I, I ever heard anything explained in that way. And I think that's what's so important about the story that we did today, because a lot of this was sparked by the Reverend having an idea to inspire others, and now everyone here can be inspired by his message and by art. So it was a very humbling day, a very enlightening day, and I feel really great being here, you guys. I hope you felt it, too. And tonight, there's a lot of entertainment, right? There's a jazz uh, jazz performance tonight, and then they have events all over the weekend. So it's going to be bumping here at Cathedral Village. Historic, inspiring, <laughs> educational. I can go on and on. Thank you, Tori. Thanks.